All right, Dag Jack's coat with the blues here. Backyard smokers. I've done some backyard smoking in my day and uh, keep it on the grill. But uh, backyard smokers, we got Chris. Chris, the owner here. Hey, how's it going? Set up, set up here in Tox, Tox Brewery's uh, parking lot. And uh, I've seen you over here kind of on the regular. Oh. Got nice and uh, so what do you got? You got brisket? We got brisket, we've got pulled pork, we've got pink candy, extra sweet heat wings, yep. uh, smoked gouda mac and cheese, yep. we got baked beans and cornbread waffles. I'll take some baked beans. I might even take a couple of the cornbread waffles. What else are you hooking me up with here? We're going to give you some garlic filled pickles, we're going to give you some bread and butter pickles, some scorpion oh. hot pickles. Fantastic. Oh man. And uh, who we got over here? This is my man Steve. Steve. Let's all take around, a look at that. All around tastiness. Woo! You got your brisket, your pulled pork, your beautifully smoked wings, and what we like to call some lovely pig candy. Oh man. Hey, love it. How about over there? How you doing? I'm Eric. Eric. This is my backyard smokers, our backyard eaters, who are catering. Everything is ground up. Yeah. Oh man, you got a nice little setup here, rigs, nice and clean, and how long you been doing it for? So for two years, been five. five. Hey, all right, man. God bless you guys holding it together during this. Uh, these times are kind of, kind of uh, sketchy, you know. Some crazy times we're in, but you're you're, you're doing it. Thanks a lot, Chris. Hey, we're at Tox Brewery here. Uh, they opened what last year? Yeah, just over a year ago. Yeah, April last year. 5th was one year. So. And uh, you know they're open now. You know, just through this coronavirus, you know, it's getting creative and. And uh, started uh, canning some of their beers, yeah. right? Yeah, we uh, just got a canning line, so we're doing small batch craft beer on cans to go. Yep. Right now we're doing crawlers and growlers um, to go only during the pandemic. Fantastic. How many different beers do you have on tap in the back over there? Uh, we have 10 taps. They're usually full, um, all different styles. We don't specialize in anything particular. We like to be very diverse. So we do light beer, we do lagers, IPAs, stouts, sours. We do a little bit of everything. That's awesome. You guys got a really good running start here, you know, when you first opened. And, you know, a lot of these parking lots, you were open on the weekends, I think, pretty much. Yeah. Yep. Uh, had a really nice uh, you're really nice following. And I'm sure now you're taking all online orders and people come and pick up. Yeah. So you pre-order online, paying everything, and uh, you don't even have to get out of your car. We'll bring it out to your car for you. Oh, that's fantastic. And so how many beers right now are you brewing uh, at a time? Normally we brew two or three times a week. Um, now during the pandemic, we're brewing once a week, most weeks, um, you know, just to keep the beer to go. Um, you know, we have a reduced overhead cost to try to get us through this time, but you know, we're not selling as much when the tap room's not open. Um, sure. Normally we brew two to three times a week. Our batches are 150 gallons, so between 150 and 450 gallons a week. Are you happy with the size of your, your machinery and are you able to keep up with your volume, you know, even when you were open? open full time? Yeah, um, we could stand a few bigger tanks now that we're canning, so we'd like to increase production a little. I'd like to get some more automated equipment just to make our consistency and efficiency better in the yep. brewing process, safer, so. Yeah, I wonder how like uh, some of the bigger brewery, breweries, you know, outer, outer lights and uh, yeah. beard and everything, you know, they've got a big expansion and I hope, hope they're able to, you know, generate some dollars to keep their you know, it's hard. It's hard. A lot of restaurants, you know, are are in big trouble. You know, the bigger restaurants, the smaller. It may it might be a blessing that you're on a smaller side for a brewery at the at the, these times. You know, later on, you know, expand so. and grow if you need to. Yeah, I think so. I mean, right now we're limited to selling out of our tap room. So during the crisis, you know, it would be nice to distribute because package stores have been so busy. But uh, no, customers have really come out and supported us since day one, and especially the great New London community. So we hope to expand in the future. Now you did a uh, like a kickstart program when you first started. Is that yeah. how you raised some money? Yeah. So I think in the winter of 2018, we launched a Kickstarter campaign, and it like more than uh, it almost tripled what we asked, what we requested. Um, Fantastic. We were able to build our cap, we build our bar, cap system, new lights, furniture. Wow, that's like great. That. Um, so you're kind of ready, almost uh, be able to open with no debt. 
yeah, not quite. I mean, it's I expensive. Care. I know the equipment's expensive. Yeah. yeah they, most of our, our debt went into the brew house and just, you know, we needed to pay rent for six, more than six months. I guess yeah. close to eight months um, without being able to make a dollar. And then all the permitting, all that stuff is expensive in the time. So. Well, that was a dream. What was that? You know, you had experience brewing it before you opened and you're yeah. just your partners and... So I have one partner in the business. He's a little less day-to-day. -day. He's more of the, uh, you know, does all the back-end finance and operation stuff or, uh, you know, accounting stuff rather. Um, and then we have another founder named John. The three of us were home brewers. Excellent. All brewing in our garages and front porches. And, wow. You know, Passionate about it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just a hobby turned into a business. That's right. Hey, well, you know, just hats off to you, and, you know, you know, thanks for being open. People need you. You know, it's, you know, social and, you know, you know, drink in moderation. And, yeah. You know, it's a it's a beautiful service you're providing. Thank you. It's a yeah. great community to do it in. So yeah, right here. What's here. the address here? 635 Broad Street. 635 Broad. Uh, we're doing beer to go seven days a week. Um, when this all ends, we'll be open Thursday through Sunday again. Oh, excellent. Big Betty is here. Trying to get the smoke on. Uh, mac and cheese. Yeah, the baked beans. Get some smoke on them. Champs beans. Oh yeah. Corn stuffing. Yeah. For those leg quarters. Uh, Big Betty, all fired up. Half chickens. Oh yeah. Well, starting to drip. That heat getting into the inside. Oh yeah, love that sound. Sizzle cells, leg quarters, ribs. Woo! Yeah. We got the hot, the hotter parts on the bottom, huh? Pretty much. Yeah. She goes. Watch the curb. Hey, Timmy knows. Another successful Sunday.